Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this quick video, I want to talk to you about the most dangerous cooking oils on the planet, the ones that you should avoid and never use. If you're at a friend's house or a relative's house and they're using these cooking oils, you should really, uh, for their benefit, just grab them and throw them in the garbage. Before we get into this, I want you to take one second and click that subscribe button, please. It helps me get new information to you as quickly as possible. Hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I have a bright idea. Okay, now let's talk about the most dangerous cooking oils that you can possibly use. Now, we call these cooking oils vegetable oils, okay? And that's a very euphemistic term because considering the fact that it's a lie, none of these oils come from vegetables. They come from seeds and beans, okay? So why did they decide to call them vegetable oils? Can you guess? I'll bet that it was a public relations move to get you to think that they were more healthy. But if they said seed oils, eh, that sounds okay, but not quite as good. And bean oils, that, that sounds okay, but not quite as good as vegetable oils, right? So th none of these are vegetable oils. If you see the term vegetable oil in a, in a magazine ad or on television or on the internet, or you hear on television and they say, oh, this vegetable oil or vegetable shortening, that's just a lie. There's no vegetables in there, okay? Not a single vegetable in any of those. So they're not vegetable oils, they're seed oils. Now before about 1979, you couldn't, you could barely find these seed oils in our food, okay? They just didn't exist. And nowadays, if you buy any sort of processed food, you almost can't buy food that doesn't have them in there. And in the process from 1979 to now, we've had our autoimmune uh, disease epidemics, obesity epidemic, all of these inflammatory conditions have gotten worse and worse. And it's my theory that these seed oils might have something to do with that. Because you see, these seed oils are not natural. You can't take soybeans and, and squeeze them with your hands and squeeze out the oil like you can with an olive or like the oil you get from a coconut or like the, the oil you get from bacon, right? Those oils just naturally appear because they're natural, okay? You can take a thousand pounds of rape seeds and squeeze them and sit on them and jump up and down on them. No oil is going to come out. You have to have chemicals. You have to have heat. You have to have all kinds of catalysts. And, and, and just nastiness in a huge factory to get the oil out of these seeds. And that's what part of what makes them so unnatural and so unhealthy. The oils that come from these seeds are unsaturated. Okay, and so that, that also is not natural. They, and they have to do something called hydrogenation to get them to be solid so that they are fake butter or fake lard because they're not natural like that, okay? Crisco kind of looks like lard and they did that on purpose. They hydrogenated it to make it a solid at room temperature like real fats are supposed to be, real saturated fats. But Crisco is a, is, a, is a hydrogenated, unsaturated fat, very unhealthy, very inflammatory. Please don't eat it. It's an interesting story how before Crisco came along, the American Heart Association was just this tiny little society. They may have had one person and one secretary, and that was it, right? And then all of a sudden, Crisco came up with this television show and decided that all the proceeds from that show was, was going to go to the American Heart Association. And immediately, the, the AHA's uh, financial coffer started filling with money, right? And it's no wonder that the American Heart Association is so fond of vegetable oils. I'm not surprised at all. Are you? doesn't mean they're healthy. It just means that they pay well. I don't know. Whatever you think about that. So let's talk about these oils. Now, if you know a friend or a neighbor who has these oils in their kitchen, please share this on your social media because that stuff is poison. They don't need to be giving that to their, to their loved ones or to their children. It's not good for them. It's gonna increase the risk of inflammatory diseases. Please share this and try to help me help other people. Now, every cell in your body is, it needs cholesterol. It needs fat. Every cell, the cell membrane, is made of fat and cholesterol every single cell, okay? And so when you're not feeding your body saturated fats, when you're feeding it unsaturated fats and, and hydrogenated unsaturated fats, your cell membranes are being made of these inferior fats, okay? Now, what that's gonna do is in, increase the risk of oxidation, oxidative damage. You've probably heard of that. 
And so oxygen is, is part of what makes us run as, as uh, machines, as animals, right? And so <laughs> if all of our cell membranes are made of these inferior fats, like they've been for the last 30, 40 years, and then oxygen's constantly in our system, is it any wonder that we all have oxidative damage, that we have more autoimmune conditions, that we age quicker, that we fall apart quicker? No, it's no surprise at all. It's because of these oils, okay? And you have to get them out of your environment. So you wanna be using saturated oils. You wanna be using real oils that, are, that we're able to extract from animals or plants without chemicals, without heat, without catalysts, without chemical catalysts. That's what they have to use. Now, let me tell you the most dangerous oils. And if you're using number one, I want you to go to your kitchen right now and get it and throw it in the garbage, okay? The number one most dangerous oil is canola. If you have that in your kitchen, if your mama has that in her kitchen, you go get it right now and say, mama, I love you, but I'm throwing this away. Okay, you'll be doing her a favor. You will not be wasting money. Number two, cottonseed oil. No human should ever eat the oil from cottonseeds or from rape seeds. That's where canola comes from. There is no canola seed. It's rape seed, okay? Number three is safflower oil, not natural. Number four is soybean oil. And there are several other oils that are borderline okay that I'm not going to name today because I don't want to I don't want to talk about that today. That's another video. But basically, any unsaturated oil that is hydrogenated is a definite no-no. You don't want to put that in your body. What you want to build your cell membranes of is saturated real fats. It would be like if you built a fireplace out of wood because it's cheaper right? And so when people say, oh, but processed food is so much cheaper. It's so cheap to just go through the drive through and get this $5.99 value meal. Every single thing that you get at fast food has unsaturated hydrogenated oils. Every single one of them, okay? None of them use lard. None of them use tallow. No, none of them use suet. They all use these seed oils, and they'll call them vegetable oils, and they might even say they're organic vegetable oils, but there's no such thing, okay? So if you built, built a, a fireplace out of wood because it's cheaper, that's dumb, right? But that's what you're doing if you're building your cell membranes out of unsaturated fats because they're going to oxidize, just like the wood of the fireplace is going to catch fire and burn up and then burn your house down. So you may have saved two bucks buying the processed food with the unsaturated fats, but you're going to wind up paying the ultimate price later on with poor health, suffering, disease, and death. Okay, the oils you want to be cooking with are saturated oils. You want to be cooking with bacon grease. You want to be cooking with tallow, that's beef grease. You want to be cooking with suet, that's lamb grease. You want to be cooking with avocado oil. You want to be cooking with butter. You want to be cooking at low temperature with olive oil. Those are the things you want to cook with, and those are the things that you want your pre made things to be made of. A great example is is mayonnaise. Now, I'm a southern boy, and I love mayonnaise, which down here in the south we call mayonnaise. It's two syllables, man-aise. You ever heard that? It's not mayonnaise. There's no O in Tennessee. It's just mayonnaise, okay? So if you ever hear, that's what you ask for is mayonnaise. But you don't want to get just any mayonnaise. You want to ask for avocado oil or, or olive oil mayonnaise or even the best mayonnaise ever is made of bacon grease. You can make it at home. I've got a, a recipe on the Facebook page. You can check it out. It literally takes five minutes and it's the best damn mayonnaise you've ever had in your life. Okay, so you want to cook with and use saturated fats. You don't, you do not want to build your cell membranes out of unsaturated and definitely not unsaturated hydrogenated oils. Okay, now if you've enjoyed this video and you know friends and loved ones who need to have this information, you've got relatives who have canola oil in the pantry right now, you have, you have family members who have Crisco 
under the cabinet right now. You've got to share this so that we can get that crap out of their kitchen and we can put the good stuff back in there. Okay, so please share this on your social media and tag somebody who needs to know this information. Now, if you really love the videos I do and you want to help me have more time to make them, I have a Patreon page down below. You can click the link and you can throw a buck or two at me and it helps me have more time to make more of these videos so I can help even more people. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.